This is Pastor Steve. Spring is with us. It's springtime, and it seems that winter is behind us, and we're entering into a new season. This Sunday, Palm Sunday, is also a new season. It marks the beginning of Passion Week, which is the week that Jesus died and rose from the dead. Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a colt, and the people recognized him as the coming king and savior. Ironically, the crowds who shouted, Hosanna, or save us, uh, were the same crowds who just five days later shouted, crucify him, crucify him. Passion Week, which is also known as Holy Week, starts on Palm Sunday and continues until Easter Sunday. It historically covers the major events of Jesus' last days on earth before his crucifixion and resurrection. You know, it's a great time, a great week to slow down uh, and observe those last moments of Jesus' life. You know, what did uh, Jesus do during his final week? What was he like? What was he teaching about? How were other people treating him? All these things help us to get a fuller picture of those last days and help us understand what, was really, what it was really like for Jesus. Passion Week also helps illuminate um, what God has to teach us through this very historical moment in time. Passion Week is so named because of the passion with which Jesus willingly went to the cross to pay for the sins of his people. It is also described in all of the four Gospels. Passion Week contained several memorable events. Uh, Jesus disputed with the Pharisees regarding his authority. Then he gave his Olivet Discourse at the end, about the end times, including the signs of his second coming. Jesus ate his last supper with his disciples in the upper room. And then we read in scriptures where he went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray as he waited for his hour to come. It was here that Jesus, uh, having been portrayed by Judas, was arrested, taken uh, to several bogus trials before the chief priests of Pontius Pilate and Herod. And then following the trials, Jesus was scourged at the hands of the Roman soldiers and was forced to carry his own instrument of, ex uh, of execution, the cross, through the streets of Jerusalem. Jesus was then crucified at Golgotha and on the day before the Sabbath was buried and remained in the tomb until Sunday and then glorious resurrection occurred. Jesus Christ truly revealed his passion for us and the suffering he willingly went through on our behalf. How should our attitude be during Passion Week? Should we not be passionate in our worship of Jesus and in our proclamation of his gospel? As he suffered for us, so should we be willing to suffer for the cause of following our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and proclaiming the message of his death and resurrection. So I invite you to join us here at FBC Wallingford as we continually, continually seek to deepen our relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ.